a beautiful day here at the Fly-In Cruise Inn, and I'm with R Richard Ennis. And Richard, uh, we get all kinds of vehicles out here, but this could be the most unusual vehicle we've had at the Fly-In Cruise Inn. Well, I don't know. I've had several different places. It's the only one I know of. Well, tell us what this is. Uh, it's somewhere between a 16 or an 18 Buick. Uh, it's been a car at one time. They've got a Sears and Roebuck kit on it. They, you can buy a kit from Sears and Roebuck. At, you can make a tractor out of an old car. It's got a two-speed rear end in it. It's got six-cylinder engines, all open valve train. I bought it out in Illinois or over west out of an old canning factory. It's set for years. And it's all one solid piece. So I got to playing with it and got it all loosened up and got it running and painted it and here it is now. So so you could take in 1918, 1916, you could take the old family Buick, go to Sears, buy a kit and turn it into a tractor? Right. More of them was Model T's and Model A's. This is the only Buick anybody knows of. Well, we appreciate you bringing this to the Flying Cruise You're in. Welcome. A very enjoyed it. very interesting uh, vehicle. And uh, we hope you'll keep bringing it every year. Well, I was going to bring it last year, and I forgot what the date was. So I kept watching the paper this year and found out when the date was and tore it out and put it beside my chair. Is this uh, your first time at the fly-in? Yes, uh-huh. What do you think of what you're seeing out there? I really enjoy it. Got a nice, lot of nice cars and tractors out. Well, you know what? We do this for the high school band. And it's people like you that make it happen. So we appreciate the effort. One thing I wanted to notice, this has got steel wheels on it back here. Right. So uh, that's very unusual. You don't see that around here anymore. That's part of your Sears and Roebuck kit. You can buy the kit and it came with the wheels. And they're bolted right to the old wooden spokes off of the old Buicks. So they just take the steel wheels and bolt them to the old car, whatever kind of car it was. They'd bolt them to them and they'd give them their traction and... Didn't have to worry about flat tires or anything like that. Well, see here, in 1918, you could take the old family Buick and make a tractor out of it. And we proved it, didn't we? Right. Thank you. You're welcome.